I was swimming along on the surface, a 2.7 meter bull shark came up from underneath me, grabbed me by the hand and the leg and tried to kill me. Paul de Gelder, a Navy diver, was on a counter-terrorism drill in Sydney Harbour in February 2009, when his life would change forever. When the shark actually bit me, it didn't hurt. And it felt like someone had just hit me in the leg with a cricket bat. And so I, I really didn't panic too much until I looked down and saw this monstrous shark's head attached to me, which was my worst nightmare. I was terrified of sharks. The pain only kicked in when it actually started to shake me. And then I can't even describe to you how painful it was. It was the most horrific thing I've ever felt in my life. The beach and the ocean lie at the core of Australian culture. Although shark bites are rare, they do ignite our primal fears of the deep. The risk of an attack is low, but some groups are more vulnerable. Surfers and divers tend to use the water a little bit further out from the coastline, so they're a couple hundred metres usually sometimes. Uh, and surfers in particular have a silhouette from underneath that sometimes looks similar to a seal or a turtle. So a great white might be checking out whether it's a turtle or a seal. So that initial bite is what does so much damage to unfortunately surfers that happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So far this year, there have been more than a dozen shark attacks off the New South Wales coast. Last year, there was barely a handful. Scientists don't know why there's been a spike, but they speculate that unpredictable ocean currents could be driving predators far closer to the shore. When I hear about the other shark attacks, um, my, my heart instantly goes out to them because I know exactly how horrific it can be. I've had some great conversations with people uh, after their shark attack to try and alleviate some of their fears. Um, the funny thing I find is that very few people actually blame the shark. Underwater meshing is a controversial method to keep sharks away from swimmers because of the damage it inflicts on other species. But the authorities are looking at real-time shark tracking phone apps and other physical and electronic barriers to try to make Australia's beaches safer. Phil Mercer, BBC News, Sydney.